All right, continuing with the, in the angular rotational world, we have torque is equal to the moment of inertia um, times its angular acceleration. And so this rotational in inertia um, resists a body to, res or is a tendency of a body to resist rotation. So we're not in the linear world, so we're not resisting linear motion, we are resisting rotational motion. And this rotational inertia is called the moment of inertia. And the moment of inertia, the resistance is due to the mass, just like it was in the linear world, but also this distribution of the mass from the center of rotation to the squared power. So this, um, sorry for the beeping. So this uh, distribution of, of mass is a significant part of the inertia that resists rotation. And so the greater the mass, the greater the moment of inertia. If you double the mass, the moment of inertia will double. However, the distribution of that mass um, is more important because if you double the distribution or the radius of that mass, you increase the moment of inertia by um, a factor of four. So where do you put the kids so it's easier to push, right? You have to push the kids, you don't want to kill yourself, so what do you do, right? Their mass is constant, but you can manipulate their distribution of mass. And so you push them all to the center, start that merry-go-round going as fast as possible, and then the, the ones that love speed will um, gravitate out to the edge of the merry-go-round, and the ones that are fearful will stay in the center.